everyone welcome back to all things with tip so today i will be doing relaxer trim cut and style on my cousin's hair um so i like to use the mazani butter blend um this is one of my faves i actually use it um on my hair as well um and it does come with the activator so you do have to mix it in um i usually only use half per application um so that way i get two uses out of it and i usually just get this from my local beauty supply if i do find it um on amazon then i'll definitely add the link in the description so make sure you check the description for the details for all the products that i'm using okay now that i have it fully mixed i'm going to go in with this a firm protector um, they do have one for the Butter Blend Mazzani, um, but I just use this because I have it already at home. Um, it's for a firm, but oh well, does the same thing. Um, and then you also want to base the scalp um, prior to starting as well. We did this previously. Um, and then I just work in sections like a normal relaxer. I um, part it in four sections, and then I work my way from the bottom to the top. Um, and uh, I just try to work as quickly as possible and then I go through it several times. Also, if the hair has already been previously relaxed, I usually only try to get the root where the new growth has come in. Uh, with short hair, it can be difficult at times um, because the hair is short and so um, I still try to do my best and I do start in the inner parts first before I actually apply um, to the rest of the head. And also the reason why I want to try to work as quickly as possible is because as you're putting the relaxer on, the chemical is break, already starting to break down the hair and you don't want to cause too much damage as you know, than what already is from the previous relaxers. Um, so I do try to work as quickly as possible um, and I do not let the relaxer sit on. Once it has been processed, I go ahead and rinse the relaxer out after I've worked it in. So I'll let you all continue watching. I'm almost towards the end of working it in um, after I've worked it in I go in with my neutralizing shampoo my moisturizing shampoo and then I go in with my conditioner I'm gonna add some silk to her hair along with the conditioner and then um, I'm going to put her under the hydration machine and let her sit for about 20 25 minutes
Now after she comes out from under the hydration machine, I go ahead and rinse the conditioner and then I go in with my other products to go ahead and set her hair for drying or I guess molded for drying. Um, I add in her leave-in, I add in my silks. Um, and then I also like to use the Nairobi, pretty much the same way that I've done in my other videos, whether I'm doing my hair or someone else's hair. Um, so I'll let you all continue watching. Also, if you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and make sure you go ahead and like this video so other people who are interested in videos like this will be able to see my video. I definitely appreciate your support. Continue watching. I'll be back. So at this point, I'm pretty much just playing in her hair. Um, I love um, to do waves on a um, on short hair when it's been relaxed. It's so pretty to me. But anyways, continue watching.
All right, y'all, we're pretty much almost done. Thank you guys so much for continuing to stay to the end. Make sure you go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Um, all Things With Tip, y'all. My website is allthingswithtip.com. Thank you guys again so much for supporting. Make sure you guys continue to stay blessed. Plus, stay safe and stay healthy out there. Shout out to my cousin for allowing me to do this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.